Hi everyone! Did you know that you can run a remote workshop without any online whiteboarding tools like Miro or Miro? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it with Google Slides. Hi, my name is Santi Lam. I'm a product designer and a remote workshop facilitator. And my favorite place to work is actually in an elephant house. Having a digital whiteboard is awesome when you want to run a remote workshop. But sometimes your clients may not allow you to use them for security reasons. And even though if that is not the case, as a facilitator, it's always important to have a plan B just in case those whiteboarding tools goes down and becomes unavailable. You can actually run a remote workshop with just tools that is available in Google or Microsoft 365. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it with Google Slides. I will also include the Lightning Decision Jam templates that I use in the description. Here's an LDJ template that I built in Google Slides. It's actually very simple. So as you see, they are just different slides. And all of these stickies are just built with text box. So you just draw a square and then you can change the color and you can change the shadow if you like. And the things that you don't want the participants to interact with, you basically just add them to the master slides, so then you cannot click on them anymore. So when your template is ready, then you can share it with your participant. You can go to the top right corner and hit the share button, and then you can either create a link or invite them individually. But make sure you give them the edit right, so you can find it here or on this drop down here. So as a participant, all they need to do is just open the Google slide and now they can start collaborating with you. Let me zoom in a little bit. And as you see on the right here, when I start to write, the other person on the left will also see it as well. And same goes for if I'm writing it here, and then you can see on the right side, I got the sticky selected and I'm writing something down as well. So how about voting? It's actually very simple when you want to vote. And to see down here, I created some circles. Basically, I just use shapes and then create a circle that way. And then just choose the color I wanted. And now when I want to vote, I just need to click and drag the vote to the sticky. And then you see on the right, it will also show that as well. So do the same, click and drag, and now you can see it on the left. And you can also see a border around to show that someone has the circle selected. And how about the impact and effort scale? Well, let me go to slide five. So let's pretend this is the solution. So as a facilitator, you just ask the participant, where do they think the sticky should be long on the matrix? and they will put the different dots around the matrix. And then you just place the sticky where most dots are, or you just take an average. And let's say I put it here. And after that, you just move the dots out from the matrix. And then now you can repeat the same process for the other solutions. And lastly, if you need a timer, I have also included one in the resource section. When you click on the link, then you will see this timer is super simple to use. And that's all I have for you for this time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, and I will see you next time. Bye!